All right, as you know, we're planning to build a pole barn on the other ridge. So a couple things I need to do to prep for that. We've been preparing for it. We've been cutting lumber with the mill and we've been uh, measuring grade to see exactly how much dirt we need to move to flatten everything out over there. But one thing that I wanna make sure we can do is lift the trusses up with the tractor and the uh, forks aren't quite high enough. So I'm gonna try to build a three point attachment onto the forks to be able to use the boom that we have here. So I don't wanna use a whole lot of steel to do this. Uh, I've got steel laying around. So I'm just gonna try to put bits and pieces together um, to be able to make it work and to be somewhat safe. So my plan is, is to build steel clamps around the forks so I can actually bolt them down tight, not through the forks, but around the forks. And then the sides of the boom will fit into that. So I need to build two of those and then the backside shouldn't be a problem. I have to weld on the backside of my fork attachment. So it shouldn't be a big deal, but we're gonna start on that now. Okay, I have this angle iron laying around. So we're gonna do eight inch cut here, eight inch cut here. This is gonna be the top part of the clamp. And then we have this steel bar here. I think it's one by two. And we are gonna cut eight inches there to be the bottom side that clamps up against the fork. All right, my garage is extremely messy right now. Isaac. Oh, mommy. She just went that way. Anyways, mommy. I got to drill holes here. Um, that way we can uh, fasten the bolts down to clamp against the bar. Um, so that's what I'm going to start doing right now. Okay, I went ahead and did the first one just to be sure it would work. So it looks like it is gonna clamp on there very nice and tight. So this is just kind of trial and error here, but I had to put a spacer in there just because of the way the bolt is. That's all that I had here, so. But I'm gonna flip the bolts around. We're gonna weld a plate on this side. So this um, piece of the boom can slide into a hole and I can lock it down in place. And you can see how I did the top, but that's going to be a little different. I'm going to weld something to my uh, fork there. So, but things are looking good. Back at it uh, this morning. Got a little late yesterday. It took a little bit to drill through the one inch steel bar. So I got two more holes to drill through the other steel bar. And uh, we should be able to start welding on a cap for that uh, angle iron for the bottom part of that uh, three point to stick in. So let's uh, get started. All right, now that I got these drilled out, um, I need to cap the ends here with steel and then drill a hole through them. So the bottom part of the three-point hitch has something to slide into. 
and I'm just going to use more angle because that's what I got here and we'll just cut smaller sections and then we'll have to drill holes and then weld that into place so I'm going to measure and cut now Well, I just ran out of some welding wire, so might have to stop for today, but here is the one completely done. And I got to drill a hole on this side, which I can go ahead and get done. And I can go ahead and get this one drilled too. I just got one last thing to weld. So we could probably get everything together and just see if it works, but I'm gonna have to do a little more welding. Okay, I got the brackets up here. I'm gonna start uh, fastening the brackets to the forks just to kind of test everything out. And then we gotta get this over to the garage. Um, I need to straighten out this steel that I bent. And then we're gonna weld angle iron to the back of that. <clears throat> uh, that way that's a little bit more rigid. And then we'll have a better fastening system other than that uh, bracket there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fasten all this down and check it out, see if it works. I'm having trouble getting these bolts to line up with these holes. These are really tight. The other one actually had a little more wiggle room. So I am gonna go back to the garage and drill out these holes just a little bigger. Okay, I got them both on here and they're pretty secure. I need to buy smaller bolts. Um, I did screw her up here by putting this up on top. I couldn't slide the bolt through, so I had to bring it up through the bottom, which might get in the way. So we'll have to see once I get this in here. So we're gonna try to get it in here now. It's very windy today. I gotta drill this hole a little bigger. That one's big enough. And I actually, when I was over drilling, I thought, ah, oh, that's gonna be too big. So I drilled this one smaller and actually the other one was perfect. So, all right, back to the garage. Okay, I got the hole drilled out. Now we're gonna try. I gotta tighten it down. We'll see what this looks like. There you have it. It's a three point hitch attachment. We're gonna do some tests on it before we lift up. I think the trusses are gonna be about 350, 400 pounds. They're steel trusses. So we're gonna do some tests, make sure this is gonna be tall enough. Um, I'm gonna change my bolts out here, make them a little bit shorter. And uh, so we'll play around with it, see what happens. All right, it is extremely windy today. So sorry if you can't hear me, but <clears throat> I wanted to come up with something a little bit stronger up top to hold this on here. So I think I'm just gonna put a piece of angle across the top and mount two little wings right here. So I can have this attached to that. Um, that'll add a little bit more rigidity to that. And I don't think that's ever gonna come off there. So I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna cut this down to that angle. That way it'll look somewhat decent. Um, I'll have to grind a little bit of the paint off to weld this to this implement and then see what it looks like. Okay, I got some of the paint off here for where we're going to attach the welds to. So, I know. Leaves are flying everywhere, he says. Let's see where I'll 
attach the welds there. Here, on the back side, and I'll even attach these down in here. And then we'll put two wings up right here once this is attached. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my welder ready and go ahead and get that one welded on. All right, I got it pulled into the garage here. Got the welder set up. I already put a bead of weld over on this side. So I'm not a professional welder. I just bought this MIG from somebody or bought it you or I think I bought it from Tractor Supply. <clears throat> so do the best that I can here. Uh, I've had nothing ever break on me before all my welds. So we're going to uh, start welding this. Okay, I got this all welded on completely. Now we're working on the pieces that go up here. It's just gonna be two little wings and that's where that top link's gonna tie into for the boom. Like I said, I'm not spending a whole lot of time on this. I have a feeling I'm only gonna use this one time. Um, I did kind of want to add something up here just to add a little rigidity to this because sometimes I'll push on trees using this and I've actually bent it a little bit. So this should help that stay a little more stable. But uh, as you can see here, uh, I'm not even sure I'm gonna paint this stuff. I'll paint that John Deere green, but this I may not even paint, I, I'm not sure. Okay, we got these on. So the top link will sit in there. I forgot to drill holes though, so I'm gonna have to do that by hand, unfortunately, with my, my drill that my wife has up there because she's planting bulbs. So, We'll do that here in a minute. I'm gonna get my welder put away. I think I'm done with it for now. It's kind of windy, but we're gonna go ahead and hook it up. It should be done except for painting. I'm gonna loosen these bolts a little bit to level this out a little bit more. Okay, keep in mind that you can actually buy the front end loader attachment to have a three-point hitch um, so you can use different implements but we just didn't want to spend the money on that John Deere has a special connection in the front it's not your um, standard skid steer attachment the one from John Deere is like 500 bucks uh, the skid steer attachment is only like 300 I probably would have bought that but John Deere has the special one also, we actually continued testing this just in case we lifted up an, uh, a 1,000 pound disc off the front of it. And it was about all that it could handle. Um, it was uh, very bouncy on the back end of the tractor, but it worked, it held it. So I think these trusses will be no problem for this boom. Let us know if you have any questions.